Hello from Alan AI. One of the most common tasks every developer comes across is data sharing between the app components. In our previous tutorials, we already covered how to send data from the voice script to the app. There, in our navigation intents, we send the tab index with the commands added to the play function. In this video, we will cover the opposite scenario and learn how to send data in the backward direction from the app to the voice script. Let's assume in our app we want to provide users with an ability to save items to the favorites list and then check the list contents. For that, we will use Alan's Project API functionality. Project API can be really helpful if you need to pass data from the app to the voice assistant to use this data in your dialogue. In our case, when the user clicks an item in the app, we will send its data to the voice script and save it to the favorites list. After that, the user will be able to ask about the items added to favorites and the voice assistant will list them all. Let us start. First, there are some preliminary things to do. We need to populate our catalog with items. Let this be ebooks for our shopping app. To do this, we'll right click the app folder and select to add a new list fragment. Android Studio will automatically add all the necessary components for the fragment and populate it with some sample data. We'll update it a bit go to placeholder content, change the number of rows to say 5, and change the item name to ebook. The fragment is ready. Let's place it onto one of our tabs. We'll go to section page adapter, locate the get item function, and here we'll update the code to tie our fragment to the first tab. The only thing left is to handle clicks on the ebook list. In the My Item Recycle View Adapter class, we'll register the click listener that will get the clicked item position and for now only display it in a toast message informing that the item has been added to the favorites list. Time to run our app and see what we get. With our catalog ready to go, we can add some logic for the voice assistant. When we click a book in the list, we want to not only see a toast message, but also send the item data to the script and save it to an array. Here is where our Project API comes in handy. To use Project API, we need to do two things. First, define a new Project API method in our voice script and then call it from our app. So let's switch to the voice script and add our method. We'll type project API and name our method getPosition. Each project API method takes the following parameters p or Alan's predefined object, params or the data to be sent from the app, and a callback to be invoked in our method. When the method is called, we'll get the item position from the app and at first only write the captured value to Alan Studio logs. The voice script part is ready, let's move on to calling the method in the app. We'll do it with Alan's call project API method. As before, we'll open the advanced example section and copy the code for the call project API snippet. The snippet goes to our main activity class. Let's update it to our needs. First, we'll pass the item position to it, and next, we'll put the position data to the params object. And we'll also change the method name to be called to get position. Finally, we need to call the function when the item is clicked, going back to our click listener and updating it to call the edit function from the main activity. That seems to be it. Let's run the app and see how it works now. We'll click some items in the list and then check what is written to Alan Studio Logs. Our data is successfully sent, so we can further use it in our dialog. Let's go on with checking what is available in the favorites list. First, when the user starts a new dialog session with the voice assistant, we'll create an empty favorites array. Here we are using Alan's user data object. The data used to in this object will be available for the whole dialog session with the user and can be passed between intent calls. Then we will update our project API method to push the captured item position to the favorites array. And next goes the intent itself. Here, when we ask, what are my favorites? The voice assistant will simply name all items added to the favorites list.
And it is always good to have voice and visuals working in sync. When this question is asked, let us open the favorite step in the app. You can learn more about navigation with voice in one of previous videos in this series. Trying it out. What are my favorites? You have added the following ebooks to favorites. Ebook 4. Ebook 3. There's so much more you can do with the Alan platform, so subscribe to the Alan AI YouTube channel for more videos and comment on what you would like to see next.